Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Joshy Bear, and uh, we're uh, yeah, we're playing Minecraft. So, Mob Farm, I would say, is actually pretty successful. Um, what I didn't count on was it being so successful that I was going to need a humongous amount of storage. Also, um, running into a problem with fall damage because uh, it appears that anything wearing armor survives that and witches survive that. So what So what I had happen is I, I kind of AFK'd for, uh, I'd say, maybe an hour. And uh, I had that fall area totally full of uh, witches and armored zombies and skeletons and whatnot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to have to make some modifications before I make that second level. I'm also going to need to... Why is there a... Why are there pumpkins in there? Are those... Did I plant... Why... Are there two... Oh, wait. Yeah, there should be pumpkins in there. That's the wrong one. I was looking totally at the wrong... And my melons aren't making it into the hoppers either. Why is that? Huh. Okay. Well. I'll have to fix that. But yeah. Um, the mob farm is working pretty well. I, uh, I got myself a bunch of rotten flesh here to see if I can do some trading. Go ahead and do this real quick while I'm, while I'm standing here. Might as well. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of it. So, just go ahead and plant these. I might actually put a hopper system down here in a chest because this is kind of... This is just going to end up taking inventory space from me. But, uh, not a bad little harvest. Half a stack. Anyway, uh, trading with villagers. Just trying to see what kind of things I can get here. So let's go see our villagers. Now with the rotten flesh, it's the uh, it's the priests that I'm gonna want, and I've got a ton of them down there. So we gotta get a chance to check on all of our villagers here. And as you can see, they are just everywhere. And uh, oh, I didn't see I didn't show you this. This is probably why a mob farm over here doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say I've 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 found the answer to that. Okay, what do you Okay, what else can Well let's uh let's just give you a bunch. Ha huh. Ha uh ha, -huh, yeah. Yeah, you keep giving me that. Alright. Alright. He's uh, feeling pretty good. I can just... Ooh, I can get redstone. Loppies. He's got some other trades here. I just... No. I want that. Just keep... Give me that. Yep. Just keep trading with me here. So now I can just get emeralds all, I, all day long. Okay, he doesn't want to do that trade anymore. I've got enough out of that. Okay. Uh, let's see if I got any other priests. I thought I did. That at least I could trade with. Out here somewhere. Unless they all ran away. I think they might have ran away. Um, oh, I guess I got this one up here that I could try to trade with. But yeah, that's how, so that's how that's going to work. Uh, let's see here. What do you got? Uh, let's see. Yeah, like I really want that. Now we got... He's going after a rabbit. I don't know why... What he thinks he's doing. Bane of arthropods. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you say. Alright, so that's, uh, yeah. 
I uh, I need to do some work on the mob farm first. Uh, making storage options a little bit. I guess making some better storage options is what I need to do. I'll well, fill in something, but what I want to do is. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, I kind of messed up there. Oh well. Let's fill that back in. <laughs> As you can see, I don't, I don't care a whole lot. These guys will just keep breeding. So, uh, you know what? I, I don't necessarily need to uh, do anything about these guys yet. Uh, until, uh... What the heck is that? Are they building stuff up there? Huh. I don't know. I guess, fortunately, they haven't... You know, none of them have... Uh, you know, taken over as zombies or anything. I mean, I could see that happening. But, uh, they haven't. Um, alright. So. What to do next? Well, we've, we've got our mob farm. And it's working great. We've got a... Farm here. Then I got one hopper. I guess what I could do is go make a couple hoppers and go ahead and put a chest in there. I think that might be the might be the thing to do. Just see how well that works. I mean I could just put the hoppers here. Run them run them into a chest there. Yeah. Sounds like a do I have a chest? Oh I've got a chest. All I gotta do is make I've got a crafting table right out here. What am I thinking? Just improve on that real quick. Uh, let's see here, I need I need four of them. Two, three, and a foe. <clears throat> All right, so that should do that. I need three more hoppers. All right, I should be able to get that going pretty well. Uh, I just all I really got to do is cut. I need to cut that out and cut that one out. And I can cut that out and that out. I should be able to run right into this block right here. Maybe. Uh, if I put a chest there. No, I ran my redstone. To me, uh, I can. I guess I can. I guess I can rerun that redstone. To make it, uh, make it a little easier to put a chest in there. Let's see here. I don't know that I have any redstone on me. I don't think that I do. Nope, I'll have to get some redstone, but uh, I should be able to just should be able to just bring this right around down here. All right. Well, let's see if I can. Ah. Now I've trapped myself in. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, I'll have to re redo that. Really? Just let me up. I just one up. Ah, oh, grab some redstone, I guess. Let's see if we can't wire that a little bit <clears throat> better. And I'll make collect at least collecting it a lot easier. Uh, I should still have some redstone in here. Yeah. I gotta clear this place out too and get that place going get the house going but I figured uh, you know we've actually accomplished a lot of the stuff we set out to accomplish in previous episodes so it's really kinda time for you know kinda to assess okay are you know is everything going the way that we want it to uh, I would say as of right now yes things are going pretty well um, are we ready to... I guess... 
the question I would have is, are we ready to venture into uncharted territory? Are we are we at a point where we should be thinking about... Oh, come on, really? Oh, I hate this shovel sometimes. It is... Regular dirt has no chance whatsoever <laughs> against this shovel. I'm going to have to cut all this stuff out just to get out. Okay, so if I put... Let me figure this out real quick. If I put dirt there, that should be where my chest goes. Where are my chests? Okay. So if I put a chest there and there, and then I put a hopper... Really? Oh, I hate... I, I hate this farm already. I put a hopper there, and I put a hopper there. And if I put a hopper there, and a hopper there, that should work fine. And then I can cover all that up with half slabs. Right? Right. Alright, so well, since all that's mostly grown, let's, let's just check it out so you, so you make sure that works the way it's supposed to. Looks like it is. Alright, uh, I am going to put... I don't have any more jungle wood with me. I think I do want to put... Uh, I should still be able to open that up, grab that, and replant everything. Shouldn't need to expand this. Yeah, we'll put them on this side, why not? <laughs> I do need to put another row of blocks here, though. So let me uh let me go grab some jungle wood. I just why not just put another tree on there. Uh but what was I saying? Oh, um I guess if it's uh if we want, we could get the villager trading system going. I don't know that it's that necessary for us to do, but um it could be something fun. I'm really really trying to think of how I want to do this. I'm actually I'm actually considering a nether portal not only uh for the uh um yeah, whatever it's called, the uh, mob farm. So that could be Oh, I put it all in my my actual house. I keep coming back here cuz I'm used to going there to get my stuff. But my new house is ready to go. Oh, a little too high. See if I can hit that skeleton up there. Got him. Hey, look at that. I'm getting pretty good with this bow. And then I miss him. And then I miss him again. There we go. <laughs> oh, this stupid creeper. Get out of here. Boom. Yeah. You can't, you won't, and you don't stop. Ugh. Alright, so uh, I guess my the question I have to ask myself is, what do I need to do next? The biggest thing I need to do next is ender pearls. I have four. That's not going to help me out a whole lot. Because uh, I can make an ender chest, which is something I do want to do. Uh, so that way I can... Let's actually let's find out if he can open that. I don't think he can. Oh my god, he can. Oh wow, that's not good. I need to put I need to get some weighted pressure plates then. Uh, on the outside, I guess. There's my jungle wood. There's my slabs too. I need those. Uh but uh no, my biggest my biggest problem at this point is what do I need to do next? I mean, there's a lot that I could do. But really, I mean, as far as playing Minecraft goes, the only thing that I really could... 
do next is just expand everything or tr- get my get myself to a stronghold and go to the end. I know it's a it's a good dilemma to have, but uh, it it is the dilemma that I have. Where is my other? Oh, it must still be. Okay. Uh, I wanted those. I mean, I've also got my storage system to expand. I could do some mining to get that, like, fully operational. I could, you know, expand the house a little bit. I think, though, I definitely want to... Where'd you go, Enderman? Come on. Come here. I want to look you right in the eye. Come here. Come here. Come here, you... Oh. Oh, you want to teleport, huh? Okay. You just want to teleport away. Like a punk. Where'd you go? Alright, uh, doing this just so I've... Really? You're gonna be that picky about it? Oh, and you're not even gonna give it back to me? I'll get it back when I harvest the stuff again. I should put some jack-o'-lanterns up here. Uh, but torches will do. I mean, I already expanded the melon farm out a little bit. I'm really, uh, I'm definitely considering that as an option. Let's go ahead and put that there. We'll put that there and that there. And put some more torches on top, I guess. Put that there and that there. Nope, that there. I mean, there are some there are some things that I could really use, uh, like a a brewing a brewing stand would wouldn't be too bad. I mean, I've got all this nether wart. Let's. I mean, I don't have a lot of it, but I've got enough to where I definitely need to start making potions, especially if my uh, mob farm is going to be that that way. I also my uh, my uh, blaze farm. I really need. To have a better way of killing all the blazes rather than just hitting them with a blaze rod. So let's uh let's rethink here because I've got I've got this place here that I'm gonna tear down eventually. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something that's gonna make a lot of sense here. <laughs> It's going to make a lot of sense. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Okay. So having a brewing stand here is okay. I don't have any I don't have any glass jars or anything yet. Uh actually things like food should go in there. I'll sort that stuff later. But I don't have a water supply. Which, I've got plenty of water out there. So, I could empty my inventory and fill up bottles. And actually, use an ender chest. My ender pearls are in here. In my other place. I mean, since I've got basically my enchanting room set up there, and that's basically my uh, uh <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 at a loss for words it's it's basically my xp farm and where i do all my enchanting why not have that set up for having having potions already there i mean there there's a brewing stand there but it makes it just makes a heck of a lot more sense to do this instead Okay, so now that I've shown that I'm a complete idiot, let's uh, let's try this again. That should make me two ender chests. There we go. 
All right, so if I have this ender chest right there, and uh, I don't want to pop that in there. I want to keep that here. So what I can do is brew stuff. I can keep like all my brewing stuff in here. I'll keep that blaze powder there. But like my glass bottles and, and melon and things like that, I can keep in here and then I can, if I'm going to go to the XP farm, just pop them in there and I'm good to go. All right. Well, it's almost nighttime. Let's sleep, let's sleep this off here. Because what I'm going to do in the morning is, um, yeah, I was going to do that one thing with that one guy where you kind of do those things and that one thing. <laughs> wow. Um, no, I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the mob farm and I'm going to set up another portal there and see where that puts me as far as, uh, where in the world or in the nether it puts me and, uh, see if that's a little bit better way to get back and forth there. So nighty night. All right, so I'm thinking nether portal up here. And that's really because I don't want to build a humongous rail system to here yet. Um, if that's like last, that's last resort, although it's, it, it'll be effective. It's just, it, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot easier just to build a nether portal. And of course, then I can go into the nether and start dressing that place up. I actually wouldn't mind building myself a, a little gold farm there and uh, seeing if uh, that might help me out a little bit with uh, my gold intake because uh, you know I'm doing some mining but you don't get a lot of gold mining I mean you, you, unless you spend hours mining which there's a lot of people out there that do that I could build an overworld gold farm if I had enough obsidian which wouldn't take me long I've got the resources to be able to to do that I just uh, if we can do that in the nether with the with the pigmen I think that would make a much a much better solution I mean you need the gold the gold nuggets are what you want for like listening melon melon and carrots and golden carrots things like that golden apples so It just, it makes a lot more sense to me. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. No, no, get back on the ladder. I can't believe I just did that. Wow. I did not want to do that with the ender chest. Oh. Wow. Did I really just do that to my ender chest? That's all right. I've got other ones. <laughs> I've got. I can make. I can make another one. Oh wow! I'm telling you guys, not not very smart. I am not very smart. Yeah, there's all the obsidian. I probably lost that. I lost the eye of Ender too. Uh, not a whole lot of obsidian to go around. Well, uh, I'm just gonna put that stuff there. I guess I gotta travel back. Although I guess let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and do the portal. We're already here. Oh, this everything was going our way last playthrough, and now this time it's just not. <sighs> Although I'm really glad this is working. This this project here really had me worried because I tried it once and it didn't work at all. And now this time, thankfully, I got it right. All right, I need obsidian and I need this. Fortunately, I've got one more flint and steel here. All right. Question is where to put it. 
I think what I'll do is I'll put it here. Like right here. We'll just make it an extra big one. Just make it humongous. Why not? I mean, we're allowed to do that in this version of Minecraft, right? And I'm, I'm not going to make it square. I'm going to make it weird shaped. Yeah. Nice massive one. All right, let's see uh let's see what happens. We'll probably get some pigmen up here or something. How you like me now? Going through the portal. All right. Oh wow, it connect it connected to my other portal. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to make another portal. The other one. And that's gonna take me home. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I need to go get the coordinates of that portal. Uh, and I'll need to calculate it, or find a portal calculator, because. That's weird, because the other one made a new... I guess because that one's close to that one. Oh, well. Alright. Okay, so I've got my coordinates for both portals. And now we need to find our nether coordinates here. So I'm actually not far from where I need to be for this nether portal. I need to be at X134, which is that direction. Or is it this direction? Yeah. So I need to be at X134. Let's go to X134. Uh, so you're looking at two, three. Okay, this is 134 right here. Okay. Z coordinate is negative 84. So this way. I need to be careful of lava here. Uh, let's see here. there once <laughs> make sure I'm not going past it here dig myself out a nice good path here Ugh. I've never actually had to deal with this before because I've never honestly never really done this kind of thing before Just hoping I don't have a bunch of lava fall down on me here. Okay, so I'm looking at a negative 86. Okay, 85. 85, 84. Okay, so this is where I need to go up. So I'm going to go ahead and go and kind of dig this out around me here. Just so I know where it is now I need to go up to Y198 I'm actually pretty close there but uh, oh no that was bad let me go let me go oh wow that is bad I knew that was gonna happen eventually <laughs> oh gotta love that okay that's 83. Here's 84. Okay. Uh, give me a torch. So that way I can at least torch that. Okay. I need to go up to 198. 
Hopefully I don't hit the ceiling. And hopefully I don't hit a button. Uh, let me do let me do myself a favor. <laughs> That block right there has to be the middle of my portal. Okay, so what I'm going to have here is this. And then we go boom. I probably should have grabbed a flint and steel. Let's kind of dig this out a little bit here. Uh, and then we have... Digging this out. <laughs> because I'm going to need some room. There's going to be some lava flying out at me here soon. I can feel it. I just know it. Kablam. I just, I just destroyed all that. Okay, and then we just take more obsidian. We go. I think it's one, two. And three. I just jump down, whatever. And then and then And that should be my portal. That links up to the mob farm should be. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if that's even close. Okay. Uh, I think I do have a flint and steel here somewhere. Okay. I need to to widen that out just a little bit. I'll, I'll make that nice and pretty later. I just need to... Just needed to be able to see it. Okay. So we come back and I've got a ghast. <sighs> the max power 9000 should make short work of him. Oh wait, do I... I already have a stairway. How do you like that? Oh, wow. So if this works, I am... Oh. What a smart guy am I. This could be... This could work out brilliantly. Alright, well, let's see where this puts us. There we go. Oh, yeah. How you like me now? Josh is an idiot. But he's a smart idiot. Let's make sure it works the other way. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Look at me doing, doing good stuff for my Minecraft world. Look at me. Widen out this doorway a little bit here. So I actually my next project is probably to kind of clean up the nether base a little bit. Get myself a an actual nether base going. Since I've managed to uh do this much. Wow. That's a uh, that's going to be very very helpful. Go back and put that flint and steel in there. All right, I need to go back and I need to make that uh I need to make that ender chest anyway.
I can't I can't believe that. That is I'm uh, I'm actually I'm actually quite impressed with myself right now. So uh, I apologize if I keep talking about it, but uh Oh, it's a, I keep going in there because I keep thinking things are in there. But I'm starting to move it slowly over to here. All right, so let's go make this second inner chest. What would be really cool is if I could get a uh, get a portal. Get a portal to this place, but this isn't really that far away, so I'm not totally worried about it. Mm. All right. Mm. What are those what are those guys doing? What are you doing? Mm. Anyway, we just set up the ender chest right there. Now if I put that and that in there, that should be safe. And if I go back to my house, it should all be right there. They still didn't fix that. I got a new version of this uh, texture pack and it, 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 it still hasn't fixed the enchanting. Hmm. Oh well. But there we go. Sweet. Let's see, is there anything in here that I want to put uh, put in that uh, chest? I guess I could put this nether rack in these furnaces. So I'm going to need the brick, I think. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just put that all in there. What? It's not going to hurt anything, I don't think. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. I'm going to stick the rest of that in there. Make sure there's nothing I want. Okay. Uh, I need I need to put a doorway on here to keep those guys from getting in here. Because they're just getting in here like, I'm a pig man. Brr, brr. Just like that. That's exactly how they say it, too. Ooh. I think... I think I want to mine that. Look at all that glowstone. I don't have... I don't have my silk touch. I think I'm going to come back and mine that later. I think that would be a good idea. All right, so here's what I need to do today. I need to make some potions of harming and some potions of health. I'll need spider eyes for that. Um, I will need some sugar cane. I think I've got some sitting around here. And I do believe I'm going to need some mushrooms, which is something else I need to do. I need to get a mushroom farm going. Maybe that's what we'll do next, because... Uh, Without the mushrooms, I can't ferment the spider eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make it uh, very difficult to do that. And do I have any? I don't know where all my mushrooms are. All my mushrooms are in here. Now I'm not talking about a massive mushroom farm, but I do need something that's going to. Uh, Those might work. Those will work, too. I should be able to just... Actually, let's just make that all sugar. should be able to just do this. And make myself some fermented spider eyes. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head back. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my chest by my... <clears throat> by my brewing stand and stuff and then um I think a mushroom farm actually might work out pretty well right by the house. So I've got I've got the space. I want to keep that open over there so I can expand the other farms a little bit, but go ahead and put that stuff in there for now. Cause I'm gonna need the nether wart and all that other good stuff. Uh 
Should be able to make a bottle out of all that. Yeah, that's going to give me all those bottles. And then I can fill those with water when I'm ready. I'll put that glass in there. Um... Look at that zombie flesh there, like like I'm going to use it for something. Okay. Mushroom farm. Now, since I cannot find a mushroom biome, I have to do this a little bit differently. And uh, there are a couple schools of thought out there. Uh, one of them, you can use a hopper timer. Uh, they both require redstone. I'm going to go, I'm going to go look those up again and look at, see which one I think is going to be best for my purposes, I think. And what I think I'll do is I'll probably put it like right outside the house here. Because I can also make mushroom stew. How cool would that be? Have some mushroom stew? All right, well, I just, uh, just kind of realized that I ran out of hard disk space. So, uh, I don't know if you actually got to see the end of this or not. But just in case, here's my mushroom farm. It's not very big. And it's not producing any mushrooms yet because I just built it. But, um, it's, it's not meant to make buttloads of mushrooms. It's just, it's something I don't have to worry about. Those mushrooms will grow. They'll get harvested when they grow. And... If I need mushrooms, I should be able to go over there and get them. Um, as far as potion making goes and getting the fermented spider eyes, the potions of harming, uh, I've got mushrooms over here, I do believe. I think I still have some in my inventory, but uh, I've got some fermented spider eyes already, but I've got mushrooms here. I've got some other mushrooms. Uh, if I'm really desperate, I can walk around the forest there and get some too, so shouldn't be a huge deal for me to get mushrooms now just thought it might be cool to have one um that's gonna be it for this episode because i don't want to get anything else because it's going to make this thing run real long and i really don't want it to run long but uh next episode we're gonna be doing uh we might be working on a couple projects at once um i've been thinking about more ways to improve my life here in my Minecraft world, and I noticed I've got this whole area of forest that um, probably should go. Uh, not because I don't like trees, although I hate this biome. Um, I want to clear out the area, and I want to make myself an overworld gold farm. I thought about doing it in the in the underworld, and uh, I, I think it was either. I don't remember. I, I usually just record some stuff and splice it all together <laughs> and then come back the next day and finish up the episode. So it was, it was either the beginning of this episode or the last episode um, where I was in the nether kind of scouting out where I want to do the gold farm. And I was thinking about it. I was like, why don't I just do it above world? Why, why do it down in the nether? Because the only thing you're really going to do down there is uh, get the pigmen. Well, it, if I build massive portals, which shouldn't be a problem... Uh, getting the uh, obsidian for that. Um, and I don't anything huge. But I think I could make a pretty effective gold farm. It also clears out this forest. Gets rid of some of the mobs spawning uh, out here. What that will also do is going to give me the wood that I need. Uh, to make the storage system that I want to make. For my uh, mob farm. Uh, because I'm going to expand that a few levels, and uh, I'm definitely going to need the storage. After after the initial tests on my mob farm, I know that I definitely don't have enough storage there, and I'm probably going to want to drop it down a little bit. Uh, I've got some ideas on how to do that, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm kind of just scouting around while I, while I talk here, but uh, I've got some ideas for that storage system. Which uh, shouldn't be that shouldn't be that difficult. Is really just going to be getting up there and, and being able to do the work. So um, pretty successful uh, ending to this, I guess. Um, of course, the mushroom farm. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how well it actually does work. Usually, no mushrooms, and well, they grow pretty slowly. So 
We'll see. How, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm Joshy Bear. Please make sure you leave a like, and leave a comment, and also click that subscribe button because all three of those things let me know that you're at least watching. And even if you're not watching, I'm still gonna make these videos. I'm not saying about you. It's about me and getting attention. <laughs> I like attention. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey. That's why I got so many windows so people can see me. <laughs> All right, next time we'll uh, we'll get started. We'll we'll be doing one of one of those two things. So I'll see you later.